everyone, I'm Sarah Kajomko with your political news update for Wednesday, December 1st. President Obama's debt panel will debate and then vote on ways to rein in the nation's ballooning deficit. A major bulk of the plan includes raising the retirement age of 68 while cutting benefits. In addition, the plan has also talked about cutting Medicare costs and tax breaks, as well as doubling the federal tax on a gallon of gas. The plan has a long row ahead, though, as Republicans don't want to cut tax breaks, while Democrats don't want to cut benefits. Tensions are also running high in the Senate this week. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell warned that Republicans will block all bills until Bush-era tax cuts are extended. If the GOP makes good on this, it may stall passage of the new defense bill, which would include a repeal of the military's Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy. Also on the Hill, the House will have to decide whether to overturn the Ethics Committee's decision to censure New York Representative Charlie Rangel. If not, Rangel will have to stand in front of his peers as his wrongdoings are read aloud. Rangel was charged with 11 counts of ethic violations, including failure to pay taxes on a rental property. And the director of South Korea's national intelligence says the North will probably attack again. Officials say that through the use of wiretapping, they've discovered North Korea plans to attack five islands in the West Sea. Meanwhile, China continues to stand with North Korea, refusing to condemn the country despite international pressure to do so. And there's your political news update for Wednesday, December 1st. I'm Sarah Kajumko. Check back with RTTNews.com all day for the latest political headlines.